smoking and playing volleyball, they don't mix. Narda Scove is worried about her 14-year-old daughter, Natasha. Natasha plays volleyball and has a tournament this weekend in San Jose at the convention center. Sports is like what the opposite of this. Like what, We play sports because of this, like to get our minds to not have that happen to us. What Natasha doesn't want to have happen is to breathe the secondhand marijuana smoke from the HempCon Medical Marijuana Convention next door. The girls are 14, 15, and 16 years old, and they're young, and we put them in sports to keep them away from drugs, not present them, you know, right next door. What do you think about this complaint? Parents saying that you shouldn't have kids with HempCon. Not to worry. I agree with that. But they're not. They're completely separated. Both events have their own security people. They're not overlapping at all. Indeed, there's a lot of security around the HempCon bubble. And Team San Jose, which runs the convention center, says volleyball and HempCon have coexisted peacefully in the past. But the Scoves aren't buying it. They say, even though the two buildings aren't connected, walking back to the hotel or out to dinner after the games could expose the kids to pot. If, if I go down there and find that it's, you know, I can't even walk through the garage without everybody, you know, getting high, then we may choose to leave.